Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, Skydio 2 with me today. I am out at uh, Julius Kleiner Park uh, and I thought I'd just let the drone track us a little bit and uh, go for a walk out here and uh, kind of let you see just a, a little different view of the park. So uh, let's take a walk. Let's go over by the pond. I'm going to have the drone follow me. Clicked on that on myself here plus sign. There we go. So the drone is backing off and it's going to follow behind me here. And it's moving around me. And, uh, and it's just going to follow right behind me here. We can put it to the side if we wish. In fact, let's do that now. I'm going to put it to the left and it's going to fly around the other side of me. And there's a tree right there, but we don't have to worry about it because uh, because it'll see that tree and it'll go around it. Another tree right there with some small branches, but I think we're okay. So I'm walking, uh, you can see I'm just down the path and you're gonna see the, uh, you're gonna see the, uh, the, the uh, pond here real quick. And uh, once we get out here to the pond, we'll, uh, we'll quit tracking and we'll fly it out and we'll do a little orbit and uh, maybe we'll just try some things with the drone. And as you can see, let's move it around the other side, the right side. And there that drone, it moves awful fast, but there it goes. And there's a tree right there, you can see the shadow. So it comes around. So let's go to the front. And it's moving to the front of me and it doesn't mess around doing it. Uh, and we still got plenty of battery here. So uh, yeah, let me, uh, I'm gonna turn the other way and let's see if, it, if the drone as soon as I walk this way a little bit, yeah, it'll move to that side of me. It should. Should move to the front. There it goes. It made that move finally. And there you get a good, uh, a good look. I'm backing up. And so then it moves to the other side. Yeah. The only way it knows the front is by which direction I'm walking. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's take it out of that mode. And so we're going to click on motion track and take it out of there. And then I just have control of it uh, with, the, uh, with the controller. So let's, uh, let's take it out here. Let's just go out over the pond. And I'm raising up because there is a, uh, there is a, uh, there's a fountain right there. And I didn't want to run the drone right into the fountain. So we're on the other side of it now. Let's drop that gimbal down a little bit. I, I, I forgot this thing's got a paddle. I was trying to do a scroll wheel. This guy's got a paddle on it instead of a scroll wheel. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just, do a, just do a little orbit around the uh, one of my favorite things to do. And in fact, we can get a lot lower than that. that and that was me messing with the gimbal. And now let's get the drone a lot lower. And that looks a lot better. Let's pick that gimbal up and let's do a, uh, let's do a, let's see if we can get a little rotation around this guy. This is one of my favorite tricks. Yeah, yeah, there's the drone. Just, uh, you know, I'm, I've, I've got line of sight on the drone right in front of me here. And uh, yeah, just kind of fun. You know, I had, I had a battery charged in this drone today, so I wanted to do something. So I thought, well, heck, why don't we just let it follow me on a little bit of a walk here. So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, in fact, let's go over here. There is, I don't see anybody over there. That is the statue of Julius Kleiner himself. Let's bring the drone down and see if we can fly uh, and, and, and I'm a little nervous because these trees, yeah, there's no, uh, there's, there's no branches on, or there's no leaves on those trees. So 
those little branches I'm, I'm afraid will get me. Even the uh, even uh, Skydio warns you about little branches like that. But let's uh, let's kick that camera down, and you can get a look. And look at that! It it, it sees Julius, and it puts a plus sign on him. Uh, you guys don't see that because I'm not doing a screen recording, but it thinks that's a person. So <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. So anyway, this is kind of a look at the uh, kind of the main I don't know esplanade of the park. I guess you'd call it. Okay, let's bring it back towards us, and uh, yeah, 71% battery. We're doing really good, so we can uh, we can do a little more tracking here. Let's bring this guy down, and we'll have him track us a little bit more. Again, one of the things that I worry about is uh, is the uh, the the trees this time of year. Obviously, they don't have uh, they don't have a lot of uh, uh, branch or uh, leaves on them so you know could the drone uh, go into one of the branches I suppose it probably could so uh, so let's let's have it go from behind here and uh, yeah it'll just follow me and there's some trees up here you'll see we can kind of walk in and out of here and uh, you'll see this guy will uh, it'll avoid everything Let's see if it'll go back to the front. And it saw that tree right there, so it doesn't know. It's coming behind me again. And there it does a quick move in front. Yeah, that works pretty good. So I want to grab some altitude because uh, if there's if there's there's some people around here, and I don't want to be as low as other folks. I'm not worried about the drone, but there's some people out here with dogs, etc., that they might uh, they might worry about it. So we always want to be respectful. And the drone is uh, is in front of me. Let's walk between these two trees, and it'll it'll thread its way through. Let's just walk straight towards this guy and see what happens. And it comes out the other side. Oh, it says Losh subject. Well, I'm not using the beacon. So the drone is right above me. So I'm going to back it up over here a little bit. It lost me there for a second. And it's still, yeah, so we have to go. Let me bring it down here a little, see if it see if it recognizes me again. There it did. There it caught me again. Okay. Click on the plus sign. Yeah, and uh, it's got me. So there is uh, right over here and there's no people there. So there's a little picnic shelter right here. So I'm going to walk over to that uh, picnic shelter and let's see, let's see how the drone handles that. And it's right in front of me and it's backing up into it. Now there's a tree right next to it that doesn't have a lot of limbs on it, so I'm a little concerned about that. It sees the picnic shelter. Yeah, it's a little scary watching it move, but, uh, but it moved around it. Yeah, and there's another, there's another tree right here. So we're gonna go this way. And let's see how the drone handles it. I mean, it it is just uh, I I should have a, a a first person view camera on me so you guys could see the moves that this drone is making to follow me around. But let's uh, let's go back out here over the grass, and then you can see the drone push around that tree there. Okay, we got plenty of batteries, so. I think we should try uh, some, it, it, this has, uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember what they call them in Skydio speak, do they call, I think they call them one shots, uh, but they do have some intelligent flight modes, and I think we ought to go up here and try some of them out. So I'm going to stop right here, 
we're going to stop motion track and uh, I am going to go into the menu here. Uh, yeah, cinematic one shots, that's what they call them. So uh, let's go into one shots and uh, heck yeah, let's do, let's do a vortex. We're in a good spot to do a vortex. Click on me, start vortex. And it's counting down for me here and it's starting. And a vortex is the same thing uh, that DJ, DJI would call a helix. And the cool thing about this drone is you don't have to worry about uh, that it's going to run into anything because it's not going to do it. It, uh, it. it sees what's around it. You know, most drones without obstacle avoidance, for instance, if you tried this in this spot with your Mini 3, Without sideways obstacle avoidance, you'd have a problem. Uh, it would probably run sideways right into a tree. It's just about done with that vortex. And it should come back to its original position here. Well, not quite, but close enough. Yeah, there it repositioned itself. Yeah, it found me it, and it, it pulled in here. Okay, so let's go back in there again and it's wanting to do motion track again. Let's do uh, uh, another one shot. Uh, let's do a droney and, uh, and see if it'll go out. Yeah, start droney. So it'll go out over the pond out here. Counting down, three, two, one. And you know, we're getting pretty good uh, battery life out of this guy. This drone isn't known for a long battery life, but, uh, and that wasn't a very long droney. But it did all right, and it kept us in center of frame. Switching to motion track, it says. Let's go back into that menu one more time. Back into one shots. And uh, let's do a boomerang. Start boomerang, it's, and uh, off it goes. Oh, you can adjust the speed of it here, too. That's kind of cool. So we're only at two meters per second, which I think is probably perfect for something like that. That makes it cinematic. And yeah, it got stuck. There was a tree right there. Yeah, so I, it didn't, it didn't want to go uh, come around that tree for whatever reason. So. Uh, it didn't. It didn't finish that. So we're back in motion track. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, push it to the back of us, and let's go back to the car, and we're going to land this guy. We'll do our conclusion, and then we'll land it. There's nobody in the area here right now. I I, I worry about having a drone fairly low to the ground because I you know I don't don't want to bother anybody, and this isn't exactly a quiet drone. Uh, but I just thought this was a good chance to show you guys some of the capabilities of this guy. I think we ought to walk in between these two trees just for the fun of it. Just to show how this drone, you know, it's autonomous and it's not going to run into anything. And you, you see it finding its way around me there. Yeah, uh, it, it's a different experience with this drone and you can do some different things. And uh, I was out here, had a battery, uh, just, thought I'd, uh, just thought I'd show you some of the capabilities of this guy. Okay, let's get out of motion track and I am going to bring it around and bring it in here and we'll do our conclusion. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so what did we do? We had it track us out to the pond out there. Uh, we had it track us through some of the trees and it's mostly infallible. We saw it lose, it, lose us once and then we did uh, some of the one-shot modes. We did a, we did a droney, we did a, uh, a helix and a boomerang and it kind of got stuck on that boomerang but those were the only two flaws I saw. 
Uh, just a really cool piece, this little drone. So what the heck, uh, let's, uh, we're gonna call it a flight right now and uh, I'm gonna land this guy and we'll call it good. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, Marcus Crawford with the uh, Skydio 2. We'll see you later. I forgot I got a hold to land. I, I forgot that this guy, uh, I had to put it in landing mode. So, uh, so it's landed and it's calibrating. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.